Hey everybody, it's me Edward Jones, back with a new video. So a special call this day, uh, book review on Cormac McCarthy's The Road. First I want to start by saying, you know, hope uh, hope um, hope all you fathers out there are, you know, enjoying your time to shine, which is should be all the time, but this is a special day for you guys. Um, to those who, um, who I would say had the misfortune of not having their father in their life, um, I hope that you receive the justice that you deserve. Um, and it's it's a it's a telling thing that you know in today's society that um, so many people are you know so many people are without their fathers, uh, whether it be to you know, tragedy or just um, you know just uh, some men you know shirking their response so some men shirking their responsibility. Uh, to their family, especially to their children, or to even some who are even driven away um, due to conflict um, with their other half. But uh, you know, like I said, I hope that you receive the justice that you deserve. And I want to say thank you to all the fathers out there who are, you know, who uh, who, who don't who who do the. I guess it would seem like to be a thankless job nowadays. But um, you know. I'm very ha I'm, I'm happy to see, I'm happy to see you guys keeping the team on your back, <laughs> um, and I hope the hope the progress grows continually. We start to see more fathers, uh, sp uh, so see more fathers, uh, you know, doing their you know doing their job as fatherhood. Uh, hopefully, become you know starts to seeing starts to be starts to be seen for how valuable it truly is. I can't imagine where we would be without fathers. I think I think it'd be a sad state of affairs, but um, I decided to do this book review because you know in lieu of Father's Day, and this is a this is a book you know I just recently finished. Now I also want to show you that I have the movie The Road, which I may have done a, I may have done a review on before. The movie is real good. There's Viggo Morrison in it. Uh, he's, they say he's a pretty good actor. I decided you know I was in I was in a it was rather a dentist appointment. I was uh, went to Barnes and Nobles and I decided to, you know when I had some time off I went to work I'll see what kind of books I can get and I came across this and it's funny because I was you know trying to watch what I was gonna, watch how much money I was going to spend but then I saw how much this book and I said you know fifteen ninety nine screw it I'm buying it <laughs> you know because uh, I read this book once before many 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 years ago and I wanted to at least have a copy of my a copy of my own you know that I can go back to as a reference though it's a good story. Um, and then, you know, since we're, since today is Father's Day, the story is about uh, catastrophic, uh, some type of catastrophe. Catastrophe has uh, struck the world, and in the U.S., there's a there's a, a father and son who are trying to make their way from from up north down to the south because uh, there's you know the weather is the weather is extremely harsh. In the book, uh, the father describes the days as being uh, grayer and colder than the last, and he puts a. He recognizes how important his role is for one in the story, as in the mo as if you've seen the movie, you you know you you understand what I'm talking about. Um, the mother gives up. The one thing she says that her heart, because this their, their child was born during uh, during everything that everything that went on. So I think the child's about eight in the story as well as in the movie. And she said her heart was ripped out of her when he was born. So she hasn't been the same ever since the child was born, um, and the fathers had to deal with you know taking care of the family, trying to hold things together, to where it got to a point where she just she quits. Um, you know, she talked about you know wanting to commit suicide. There were only two rounds left for uh, for the Hank for the the revolver, which was a Smith and Wesson Model Ten. I think it's interesting to see that and in those type in those type of in that, you know. In that kind of environment, you know, a nice Smith and Wesson still still around to uh, to put in work. You know, she talked about committing suicide and wanting to take the child with her. You know, saying basically making the same like he didn't you know he didn't have what it took to actually keep the family together, and so she just quit. And how she did that was she, you know, it was very cold out, and she, you know, just basically went off into the darkness and just died out there. And so he's been left he's been uh, left up to him. You know, he's been left to his his. He's, it's up to him solely to pass on the knowledge that he has within him to his son because in the story he recognizes that he's going to die. Uh, he's going to die eventually so he wants his son to have, you know, 
keep, keep with him these lessons that he has taught him about how to survive. One big thing that was one thing that was really big in the story that they said that they said between each other a few times was was the importance of having a fire. Another thing that something that was said was the father said they um uh, we're keeping the fire and the fire, which I, I believe is in a sense of you're still alive amidst of all the amidst of all the darkness of all the coldness of the world as it is right now, you still have to keep that fire alive inside you. Now he's you know, the father has come through some. Um, he has come through some challenging times as to when you know when to help other people, um, when to avoid other people, uh, people he's killed uh, to keep his son safe, uh, the things he's done to put himself you know, that put him in, uh, that, that puts his life in jeopardy to try to keep his son alive because like he in the book he says that his child is his warrant. Um, and that's the only reason. That's the only thing he has left to do in this world. And he he tells his son, "If anyone touches you, I'm going to kill them because that's my job." Um, he uh, he often sa says that his son is the. He says that if his son is not the voice of God, then God never spoke. So it, you know, keeping his son alive is also in a sense keeping his faith alive because that's the only thing. That's the only goodness that he sees uh, within you know around him. Everything is just. Everything is dying, and his son is the only thing that is that that gives him the strength to keep mo keep moving forward. You know, and I think that's important for fathers to have that uh, to have that motivation to you know take you know ra ra raise your kids properly to you know instill with them masculinity because that's that because fatherhood does that fatherhood instills masculinity into your children, be it sons or daughters. You know, so that the sons know what kind of men they should grow up to be, and the daughters know what kind of man to look for when it comes time for them to um, start a family of their own. And you know, so so you know, so fatherhood is extremely important. And then, and we talk a lot about you know, um, you know, and this is a this is a prepper channel. You know, of, of many of many other things I've discussed in this channel. One of the thing, one of the aspects of the channel is is prepping, and you know, we often look. You know, often we look towards. We often look towards the. Ma we still often look towards the males, in our lives, or or as our or ourselves. As many people that look up to us, to see what direction we're going to carry things in. How are we going to act? Are we going to act in a civilized fashion? Are we going to act in a way that actually preserves our culture, preserves our society, preserves our you know, you know shred of our humanity, a shred of decency within us, or are we going to go the way of the world? And when times, you know, when, when times get tough, we're just going to, you know, collapse. We're going to fall apart, you know, bust the seams. And, you know, this father, he, in, in this book, the father, he comes, he has, you know, he breaks down um, a couple of times because of, you know, all the stress and, all the, you know, everything that they've, they've been through. Um, but he still keeps going. He, uh, something, there, there is a challenge. I won't spoil it for you, you know, if you... If you haven't read the book yet, I do encourage you know you guys to check out this book. There's a challenge that the father has that he tries to he tries to find himself find it within himself to make a certain decision that would greatly affect him and his son's life, um, and it's a very dire decision. Um, but he comes to a good he comes to the right conclusion, I would say, from the book. If you read it, you'll you know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, you know, one of the horrors that we that's that's in this book that's been discussed on this channel is cannibalism. You know, and he says that as in the movie it says uh, the father says that's uh, that's one of the that's the worst thing that 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 they that that um that can be experienced at a time like this. Uh, cannibalism is, is probably worse than is worse than death itself because that's man consuming man consuming him, uh, other men, uh, and it just it just boils it boils the human down to their to their bait, to their, you know, to their true basic instinct, which is feed. And the, in the, you know, in the book and in the movie, they talk about you know starving. Um, you know, there are some happy moments too. There are some good moments in in the book as well as in the film. And the story has a nice. I would say the story has a nice ending. It has a very it has a very wonderful ending. Um, the the fire that the that the father passed down to the son does carry on. I'll say that, I'll say that much, but uh, yeah, please check out this book. 
Cormac McCarthy. He also wrote No Country for Old Men. So, wrote The Road. It's a pretty good story. There is a little, there's the element of hand loading, which, um, which I, which I, did, which I did, in, which I did enjoy um, finding in this book. And there are some, you know, there's there are some gun, um, some a little bit of gun things here and there in this book that I think will, will be, uh, will be appealing to uh, some of the gun nuts out there, like myself. <laughs> but uh, question comments, you know, please feel free to leave me a mess, uh, send me a PM or leave a message or leave a comment section, leave a comment in the comment section. Grab some complaints, go ahead and make them. Uh, I'll see what I can do to address them. But uh, Cormac McCarthy's The Road. Again, happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. This has been a Father's Day special book review. I'm Edward Jones, and thanks for watching.